Paying homage to a fallen struggle stalwart and a former Minister of Water Affairs and Forestry as well as Education, Professor Kada Asmal passed away in June 2011. He didn't bureaucratize politics, but he participated in making sure that politics remains dynamic and attractive to young people and all of us. Turning to current issues, Mboweni has hinted at his unhappiness over the wage bill in the public service and at SOEs. He said it's not sustainable to spend 80% of government money on wages as this robs service delivery. The public sector, being the civil service and state-owned enterprises, bloated. So there's no room there. In fact, if you take an organization like ESCO, they probably need to lose about 30,000 jobs because the organization is bloated and the salary bill is consuming so much, uh, not leaving much for infrastructure. The matter of state capture also came under the spotlight. It's a heist, that thing. It's a robbery. There's nothing else you can call it. It's a Daylight robbery. It's a heist. So those who participated in that heist are dishonorable. We've messed up this thing. Thieves are amongst us. They've been arrested. We see they're in jail. Others are in court. But no, when we speak, we say, no, there's something coming from England. Something is coming from America. Here are the thieves. Others are in it within our structures. Let's accept that we messed up the economy of this country. Meanwhile, the finance minister says low growth levels will continue to lead to low revenue collections. And he says productive sectors of the economy must be revived to lead to higher growth. He says the mini budget will give assurances on policy certainty, institutional strength, a strong judiciary and media, human capital development, and technological innovation. Ulelani Philip, SABC News, Cape Town.